In this brief video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste code from somebody else's page. I have recommended that you go to my portfolio page and copy and paste the headings we're going to use for your portfolio. So I'm going to demonstrate it here. I'm going to go to my portfolio page, which you can get to from our course page. I'm going to take a look at it. You see that it has the headings that I want and it has a sample picture. It also has that table of contents feature that is often seen in Wikipedia. I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to select all of the text. I don't just want the text but I want the code. That's why I'm going into edit. I'm going to press whatever I press on my computer to copy and I'm going to back up and go to my mini course. Now I'm going to go into edit on my mini course. Now you're actually doing this on your portfolio page not your mini course although you may want to copy code from somebody else's course onto your course that's okay as long as the content is yours. I'd like it to appear right here so I've put my cursor and I'm going to paste and everything that I copied is going to paste here. Save the page and you'll notice a couple of things. First of all I did get the sample picture, I did get the table of contents and I did get the one, two, three, four, five, six categories or headings. But I also got this text up here that I don't want, and I got the, um, the linking, the page links that I don't want. I like my page links because they're current, and I'm going to delete everything from here to here. But I can't do it here. I have to go into edit first. So here's how I do it. I want to get rid of the text, and links. I want to keep this is my new course page. Press delete and save. Okay, so now I have my old content plus the new content I've added. So how, suppose you wanted to create one of these headings, but you don't want to have to copy it from someplace else and you want to use your own words. And also, how did this table of contents get here? I'll show you. Go into Edit and you'll see that the headings are wrapped in two things. The two equal signs makes it a heading. It has to be wrapped around it and the apostrophes make the heading bold. And I'll demonstrate by removing the apostrophes on one, and I'll remove the equal signs on another. Okay, so there's my non-bolded heading. There's bolded text that isn't a heading. You see that it has no line under it and no option for editing that section. And if we look up here, we see that needs assessment is no longer in the table of contents. So we answered the first question, how do you make a heading? So how do we get the table of contents here? Let me fix this up. I'm going to delete three of these and show you what happens. Oh, I might as well make this bold so as not to be confusing. Save. And notice that now I have the three headings, but I don't have a table of contents. In order to make a table of contents, you need to have four headings, and the table of contents happens automatically. Let me demonstrate. I'll put back one of those. It's 
So now I have four headings. Click Save, and I have a table of contents. Again, feel free to copy the code from other people's pages. As long as the text is yours, copying code is a way to learn how to do the coding or a way how to avoid learning to do the coding. I don't care. I want the content to be rich and to be yours. Don't struggle with making the wiki page work.